What is up everyone? My name's Brenner. Welcome to my channel. This is Mr. Liquor Sipper and this is Whiskey Proof News. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys some information uh, regarding High West. So if you guys are into High West, you guys want to know the scoop as far as what they're releasing this month, then stay tuned and let's find out. So High West Distillery has actually launched something pretty cool um, here recently. When I say recently, I mean this month. Um, it's a summertime transatlantic blend of liquid uh, from an unlikely trio of Utah, Indiana, and then Scotland types of whiskeys. So it's going to give you this magnificent blend. I have not tasted this, so I am only bringing you the news of it. I am not doing the reviews of it. For those of you that have never had High West at all, not necessarily this particular version, uh, just a little quick rundown. So High West is located in Park City, Utah, with uh, two facilities making whiskey in the nearby mountains and also in the old town itself. So High West can be regarded as one of those, uh, one of those brands that utilize other brands or other distillers um, uh, as their sourcing in order to create their brand itself. Um, with well-regarded blends like uh, Rendezvous Rye and uh, Midwinter Nice Drum. Uh, the Campfire blend that they have come up with was actually an originally uh, inspired whiskey by founder David Perkins whenever he did a trip to Isla some odd years ago and he was served a uh, dessert with peated syrup. Um, and so that kind of is what I guess created this uh, this idea of what he wanted to create. Now. Um, this combination of smoky and sweet convinced him that blending bourbons and peated whiskey might actually be a good idea, which brings us to the 2022 batch of Campfire that has been released this month of August. Now, some of the components which have changed over the years uh, consist of whiskeys aged from uh, a four year all the way up to 15 years. The exact percentages um, have not actually been revealed, but straight rye whiskey um, at 95% rye and 5% malt barley from MGP in Indiana, and then uh, straight bourbon, 75% corn, 21% rye, and then 4% malt barley. And then that one was from uh, another one from MGP rye whiskey that comes in at 80% rye, 20% malted rye uh, from High West, and then blended malt scotch whiskey together. Um, the source of that malt scotch whiskey is actually undisclosed. Now, the whiskey is bottled at 92 proof and has notes of vanilla, honey, cherry, and some baking spice on the palate, all backed by a subtle but noticeable whiff of smoldering campfire smoke, hence the name. So this part's pretty cool. So in conjunction um, with this new release, what High West did, they uh, recently announced the Protect the West initiative and they've committed uh, $1 million to the causes uh, for groups that are focused on helping to reserve the land uh, on that half of the country, which is so heavily impacted by the effects of climate change. Um, an initial do donation of 150,000 has been made to three groups, Wildland Firefighter Foundation, Protect Our Winters, and American Prairie. Um, so if you get a hankering for something sweet and smoky, but are in the mood for something nice, uh, like a smooth whiskey, and maybe something with a, some barbecued brisket, give Campfire a try. I haven't tried it, but the moment I see it, I will definitely pick it up. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. If you guys are interested in finding out anything else, fun facts, or you guys are looking for uh, other types of news, or you're looking for other reviews, do me a favor, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys are interested in so I can do the research so you guys don't have to. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you like, subscribe so we can multiply and divide. Tell your friends, tell your homies, tell your cats, tell your dogs, tell your bats, tell your Rambos. I don't even know what that means. And I'll see you guys next time on Whiskey Proof News. Until next time, cheers and keep on sipping.